Father God, in the name of Jesus, as the dew comes from above and watereth the air. So we ask, Lord, that your spirit will water your word even upon our hearts today. In Jesus' name, amen. Today we're going to be focusing on Psalm chapter 92, verses 12 and 13. Verse 12 specifically says, The righteous shall flourish as a palm tree. The righteous shall flourish as a palm tree. Now, there are three key words here. These are the righteous, flourish, and palm tree. And we're going to be looking at these three beginning with the word righteous. Now, a righteous person is someone who has a right standing with God. And your right standing with God is obtained through your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It is by believing that Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary for your sin and was raised again for your justification. Righteousness does not come by being baptized in water. Neither does righteousness come by the good works that we do. No, not at all. Righteousness comes through our faith in the Lord Jesus, that Jesus died in our place. You know, we were sinners. We were supposed to die eternal death. But Jesus came into, the, came into the world and his blood was shed for the remission of our sins. If you believe in this, you acknowledge and you confess it with your mouth, you become righteous. Amen. Praise God. Now, the second key word there is the word flourish. To flourish means to break forth, to break forth in the sense, you know, of blossoming in the sense of budding. Now, to flourish also means to spread forth, you know, like, 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 like the bird that flies in the air that spreads forth even its wings. Amen. And also, to flourish means to progress. It means to mount up. Amen. Praise God. Now, what the Bible is simply saying is that if you are righteous, then you are supposed to flourish. In other words, if you are a righteous person, you have a right relationship with God, then you are supposed to flourish. If you're not flourishing, there's something obviously is wrong somewhere. Amen. A righteous man must flourish as far as the word of God is concerned. But if you happen to meet with somebody who is righteous and is not flourishing, then as I said, we need to re-examine our lives. Because the Bible commands that the righteous man must flourish. Amen. And what the scripture is simply saying there is that if you're righteous, then you should break forth. You know, as the sun breaks forth in the morning, that the darkness is unable to stop it from shining forth. So also it's supposed to be the life, the experience of somebody who is righteous. If you are righteous, you are supposed to break forth. If you are righteous, you are supposed to spread forth. In other words, you're not supposed to just be a local champion. You're supposed to spread forth your tentacles, you know, to the aims of the world. That is the purpose of God for you. Amen. And to what flourish also means to fly. It means to mount up. It means you're not restricted to any limitation. You know, Abraham in the Old Testament, the Bible says he flourished, he spread forth. We can see the tentacles of the Jews all over the world. And that is supposed to be the experience of anyone who is righteous. The righteous shall flourish as the palm tree. Amen. Now, the next key word there is, the Bible did not say the righteous is going to flourish like any other thing that flourishes in the world. But the Bible says the righteous is going to flourish as a palm tree. That means the scripture was definitive. It was specific on the kind of flourishing that the believer is supposed to have. And that is that of the palm tree. That is the next subject we're going to be looking at when we meet again. I pray for you today that the Lord God Almighty will cause you to flourish like a palm tree in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any area of your life where you're not flourishing, I command, it to, I command your life to break forth in the name of Jesus Christ. As, as the darkness is unable to stop even the sun from breaking forth in the morning, so I declare not to be able to stop you from breaking forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will spread your wings. Your tentacles shall be spread up, up, up to the hindermost, up to the uttermost part of the earth. You will not only be a local champion, you shall be a champion even abroad in the mighty name of Jesus and you'll be able to fly, even as a plane, even as a bird flies in the air and spreads forth his wing. So shall be your experience in Jesus' name.